Hey everybody, what's going on? Hey, I just wanted to take a minute here to do a video on rat poison. Um, you can see right now that's uh, that's kind of what I got up and going. Um, I usually live in X Monad. Um, I've been in X Monad for a long time. I love it. Um, for some reason, I got a wild hair up my butt the other day to try something different. So about two weeks ago, I uh, I installed rat poison. Um, it wasn't quite two weeks ago, but anyway, I installed rat poison. I didn't do anything with it. I just kind of had it on there. I logged into it once and kind of dinked around for a minute, but got sidetracked and got out of it. But anyway, um, over the past week or so, I got into it and kind of started messing around in there. Um, it's a little strange uh, compared to Xmonad and the other ones um, in that it doesn't have a normal key binding setup. Um, it's just a black screen when you log into it. Uh, there, you know, it's not... There's no workspaces, nothing like that. It's just it's containers. You launch a window and it's full screen, and then you launch another window and it stacks on top. Um, you can use the escape key, which is Control T, and then hit Enter to cycle through them. Um, it's just kind of a weird, weird deal. But the more I was kind of playing with it, uh, the more I thought and realized kind of like this. Um, so I figured I'd kind of come on here there um, and show you how to build a configuration file for it. Because there is no configuration file from the get-go. Um, it used to not even have the ability to read one um, of a of your own. Um, but they, I don't know how long ago, this is an old old deal, but um, they did finally add the ability to do that. Um, so when uh, Rat Poison launches, it, it'll look for a configuration file in two different places before it just launches the default. Um, one being slash etc slash rat poison rc and the other one is home slash dot rat poison rc so what we're going to do is we're going to create a home dot rat poison rc and get this working the way we uh can actually customize and have it usable um so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start out with vim and you can see i already started writing one but i cleared it out so i could do this on screen um basically um you start out and it's really simple syntax. I mean, it's you basically what you want, you type it and that's what it does. Um, like I said, um, the escape key, um, you have to hit an escape key before you can do your key bind. Um, so basically from out of the box, the, the escape key sequence is control T, which is kind of unintuitive for me. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change that. So, if we do escape, um, we're going to change that to the alt left. So that'll be the left alt key because that's what I use on everything else for the mod key. Um, I figured it'd be kind of easier even though it's not hold it down and do your other key. It's press it and release it and then do your keys. But anyway, it, it just seems a little more natural to me. Um, so we're going to change that. We're going to get the escape key to alt. Um, I'm going to bring that down a little bit because we're going to put some auto start stuff in here. Get rid of the black screen. Um, so basically to get rid of the black screen on boot, you just do exec and we're going to do nitrogen dash dash random dash dash set zoom dash fill. Basically that's just going to randomly pull the wallpaper and set it to fill my screen. Um, usually I use X wallpaper. Um, but for this, I'm just going to throw uh, nitrogen up there. Um, there's no workspaces on it out of the box, like I was saying, um, which is kind of odd because I like workspaces. They're, they're handy to have. But there is a way to actually add them. So from the start, if we add exec, and then we do, oops, not dot slash, just usr bin rpws. Um, basically, rpws rat poison workspaces um, and I'm gonna say we want what let's just say we want nine because that's what normally comes with uh, window managers so we want workspaces so we're gonna do uh, nine of them so you just put exec user bin rpws in it nine um, so we'll start with that for now um, just to show you we can get some get a few things going on it um, and out of the box you can run little commands over here you'll see this little box pop up uh, black and white I don't like it over there 
Um, it is pretty handy. You just hit the escape key, which, like I said, default is control T, but when I'm done, it'll be the left alt key. But you just hit the escape key and then press colon, and this box pops up, and you can type commands into it to, you know, do all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't like it up in the corner over there, so we're going to change it. Um, and we're going to move it. So let's do. Uh, we're going to move it and we're going to change the color because I don't like the white and black is kind of annoying. So we are going to go with set win name title. Oops. And then we're going to go set win gravity. And we're going to do center. And then we're going to set trans gravity, and we're going to do that center, and then we're going to set a border, and we're going to say three, we're going to also, we're going to change the font, I like, uh, I'm just going to do set font, I like, um, personally, Roboto, you can use whatever font is on your machine that, uh, you like, but I prefer Roboto. It's what I use for all my <laughs> all my stuff. It's I guess it's my preferred font. And now we're gonna set BG color, and it's gonna be zero 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 zero. We are we're gonna leave the background black, and we're gonna set G color, and we're gonna make that. Um, I kind of have a default color on all my stuff. Um, it's 477D8F, just kind of a, a blue that I've found that I like. Um, so there's that. That's going to change basically the kind of the appearance of that box that pops up. It's going to move it from the right corner and it's going to put it in the center. So that's kind of cool. Um, and like I said, that's simple. Or that's super simple. I mean, you just type in set what you want to set and how you want to set it. Um, so now we are going to set a couple of, let me get rid of some of these spaces, I got a few too many in there. Um, let's set a couple of key bindings. Now key bindings, the escape key is already set, so basically now all we got to do is bind what keys we want to do what. Um, as of right now, the escape key plus C launches a terminal. I don't know why, it just, what C is for, it's just, that's what they have it set at. I'm going to change that, and we're going to do bind and we're gonna do T and we're gonna say exec and then we're gonna do ST. ST is the terminal I usually use. Um, that or Alacrity, but Alacrity's been kind of ticking me off lately so um, I kind of went back to ST which has always been old faithful to me. I want to be able to launch my browser so if we just hit bind I'm gonna do B to launch Brave. Uh, that's gonna launch my Brave browser. Um, and then I also I have D menu on machine my machine and I want to be able to launch that so we're gonna do bind and we do D and we're gonna have that uh, execute D menu underscore run. Um, let me see here. Um, that gives us a lot of the basics for now. Let's see if there's anything else. What else? might we want to have up there oh we need to since we installed uh, workspaces um, we need to have bindings for those so if you want to do workspaces you just bind one and exec rpws one and then you just bind two bind three four five six seven eight nine and before anybody jumps at me I know there's probably a quicker way to do that but I'm not thinking everything through right now because I've got limited time my daughter's in doing karate and I'm just sh shooting this video while I'm in my truck because I'm bored so then we do RPWS two oops yeah. actually you know what we're gonna do screw this we're gonna do escape B and we're gonna yank I'm just gonna go P, enter. No, screw it. I'm not doing it that way. I just, I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I can't think today. 
it's uh, it's just one of those days. So bear with me as I do this the long and convoluted way that I always talk about how the terminal is so much better because you don't have to do things that way. But you know what? I am going to do it stupidly. So RPWS. I keep hitting enter. RPWS four. RPWS five. RPWS six. RPWS 7, RPWS 8, RPWS 9. Okay, there we go. Now I just looked like an idiot. The guy that's touting about how great the terminal is and how efficient it is, and I just used it as inefficiently, excuse inefficiently, I can't even speak right, <laughs> as inefficiently as I possibly could on camera looking like an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> it's done. What's done is done, and uh, that's that. So, Basically, that gets us to the point now where when we reboot this or we relaunch this, we should be able to have wallpaper setting and we should be able to have workspaces and my little bar should launch in the center of the screen in the colors I want as opposed to up in the corner. Um, but first things first, I'm going to set a wallpaper manually and so then hopefully that we can see the change as we boot up. So basically, what we're going to do is since we haven't changed yet, we're going to do Control T and we're going to do let's just do this we'll go to nitrogen that's going to launch nitrogen and we'll just take a random let's do a random wallpaper there we're going to apply that and then control t to escape again and k is going to kill so now if you look down here you can see around the window that we now have a background um, I don't think I can scroll through and you can't make windows disappear or if you can I haven't figured that one out yet but anyway at any rate um, I do have a background in the back now but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna control T and we're gonna do colon we're gonna run a command and it's basically re start we're gonna restart rat poison and hopefully if I did everything correctly we should have working workspaces we should have wallpaper setting on its own I should have a couple key bindings that are set now my escape key should be changed and um, workspaces if I didn't already say that so anyway let's do restart now it says welcome to rat poison so that shows that it restarted it says hit control T plus a question mark for help I don't I don't know if that means it didn't change my escape key or not but let's find out I just pressed alt B and it didn't change my key binding oh we're still in enter mode maybe that's why let's do write hey there we go how about we write the file first then we control T colon restart enter hey look at that now we have wallpaper change now if we do alt hey look at that we can see see how the cursor changed from that to the X that means the escape key works and if we hit enter we scroll back over if we hit alt enter alt enter okay so alt the uh, has changed we saw the wallpaper change so we know nitrogen works now let's check out workspaces so right now if we do alt 2 it should look at that see up in the corner that's mm, okay that's the only thing it didn't do I got something wrong is it still showing me my workspace or my uh, bar up in the corner so we'll have to do something with that but anyway um, just like that we now have workspaces we have um, our, all, our, our escape key changed and we have let's do alt B for brave we've got our launcher for brave it works just fine um, so yeah it looks like we've got working let's try one thing here let's alt enter alt enter I wonder if we set, let's do set, uh, what was it, bar gravity, and we'll do that to center, and we're going to escape, we're going to write, we're going to alt colon, restart, enter, right, and okay, and there we go, we can see right there, the bar is now in the center, if I hit escape and escape out of it, and I hit alt information, we can launch from the center, alright, perfect, that's, that's where I wanted everything. Uh, if we do alt, oops, let's escape from there with the alt T, we launch our terminal, it's ST, look at that, 
That's awesome. Okay, so we've got a few things going. I think I'm going to make a couple more videos actually going through uh, and customizing this. So please follow along. Um, it's a, it's really a great window manager. Um, I'm going to put a bar on there. I think I'm going to use just run Conky through Dzen um, to run a bar at the top of it. Um, but I'm going to do a few more things with it. Just uh, follow along. Um, check it out. And do me a favor. Like and subscribe if, uh, if you find this useful. Um, or if you want to help support, um, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I am trying to grow the channel a bit. Um, but yeah, good times. Um, again, check out Rat Poison. Follow me along on this video. Let's build it together. We'll get this thing working pretty cool. Uh, all right. Uh, you guys have a great evening and God bless.